Hey y'all, it's summer, which means lots of tomatoes, and we're definitely gonna be using those this week. Your recipes for the week include a ground uh, beef bison mix that actually used roasted tomatoes. Then you're gonna have a summer squash with onion omelet, a roasted green bean dish that has a little um, crunch of almond on there, then a grilled or baked, depending on what you have. If you have a grill, you're gonna do it on the grill. If you don't, you'll bake it in the oven. It's gonna be a salmon and peach dish. You're gonna actually go ahead and grill or bake those peaches, and then everything's gonna go on top of some arugula with a little lemon vinaigrette. Then you're gonna make a shredded chicken dish that's gonna have a Middle Eastern uh, eggplant dip or topping, however you wanna put it on that dish. With those things, though, some prep tips for you guys. Actually, with that eggplant dish, what you're gonna wanna do is actually prep it during prep day if you can. If you can't, of course, you can make it on the day that you make the chicken, but I would really recommend doing it on prep day. And here's what I would do. Go ahead and you're gonna put the eggplant in the oven first. Then chop and cut all of your vegetables. By the time this is done, the eggplant's then gonna be done. Then you can do all of the other steps to get the eggplant prepared, the eggplant dip prepared. Put it in the refrigerator, those flavors are gonna become uh, even more melded together, it's gonna taste even better. That's a great way to utilize your time, right? You're roasting while you're also prepping. We love to do that. The other thing is, you see I've got um, my one large onion and these are my three uh, cloves of garlic. The dish that requires these things is that beef dish. And you could in fact actually put these in the same bag because you're gonna cook them together at the same time. So even one less step or one less bag you have to use. These have to stay separate because these are actually for different recipes. But in this case, these two could go together. So that's it for prepping this week. I'm gonna put everything in there. Now you guys get prepping. For the eggplant topping, you're gonna to start by heating the oven to 425. Line a baking sheet with foil, cut slits all over the eggplants, then place them on the foil lined sheet. You're gonna roast the eggplants until the skin is black and charred. That'll take 30 to 40 minutes. When the eggplants are done, take them out of the oven and let them cool enough so that you can handle them. Next, you're gonna take a spoon and take out the insides. Well, first you actually have to cut them in half for that. Be careful not to get any of the skin because the skin can be a little bitter. You're then gonna use a fork to mash the flesh up in a bowl with a little lemon juice, garlic, tahini, and olive oil. You're gonna mash it the whole time so it's well mixed. Then sprinkle with a little salt to taste. Thank you. 